All right, let's talk handlebars. I've gone through quite a few different sets of handlebars until I landed on these. These are the Bitwell Friscos, and I'm gonna do a little bit of a review on these because when I was looking for bars, I'd go to YouTube, and there was a lot of videos of those bars, but it was mostly just the bars on the bike. Uh, nobody really discussed the specifics of the bars or how they felt. So I'm gonna do that today with these Bitwell Frisco bars. So let's go ahead and get these pictures taken care of right now. All right, so now that you've seen the pictures, let's talk a little bit about the bars. First off, Bitwell makes great stuff. Everything I've purchased from them has always been good quality and it's just a good quality company. Anyway, let's go to the dimensions of the bar. At the base, where they connect, they are seven inches. So it's quite narrow, which is good for sportsters because you don't want, at least for me, I think something that has a wide base looks a little crazy because we have such a narrow front end on a sportster. So the seven inches is great for a Sportster narrow front end, or any bike with a narrow front end for that matter. The rise is eight inches, and tip to tip is 29 inches with grips. The only thing about these bars that I dislike, and I'm gonna go ahead and say it now, is the pullback. It only has three quarters of an inch of pullback, which isn't a lot. So it does lean you over a little bit. It's an aggressive stance with these bars, and they're narrow. And most of Bitwell's bars, are narrow. They're based out of California where lane splitting is smiled upon. So, you know, people want those narrow bars to get in between the cars. Where I live here in Kentucky, lane splitting is frowned upon. So it really doesn't matter to me. But I will say that the narrow bars with the minimal amount of pullback that these have is a very aggressive stance on the bike. You are bent over a little bit and you are you know, forward on the bars, which I kind of like. It makes me feel a little bit more in control and it makes the bike a little easier to move around, especially when you have rise on the handlebars. I had some 12 inch Burley Apes and I had some Roland Sand 12 inch. They were much wider. And the problem is when you do sharp turns, mostly slow speed stuff in parking lots or whatnot, it's really hard to keep both hands on the on the bars because when you turn it this side goes away from you and it gets out of reach at least for me that was the situation what the hell is going on here this old man is making some kind of crazy turn he is off the road so anyway the 8 inch rise was perfect for me it was enough to where I didn't feel like I was, it relieved the pressure on the palms of my hands of leaning forward and down. So the eight inch was just a good compromise. The 12s were just a little bit too tall. And to be honest, I, I don't know if I really dug the look or not. I landed on these and these have been a great compromise. And I really do enjoy them. Like I said, the only thing that I can say negative about these is that, you know, the three quarter inch of pullback. I wish it had just a little bit more, but it doesn't, so I'll live with it. And you can, you know, adjust that with, you know, how far forward or how far back you pull the bars back. With this style bar, anything I would say less than vertical looks a little crazy. So you really don't want them, you know, tilted back towards you too much because the, for me, the aesthetic appeal is lost. They need to be at least vertical or a little bit forward. To me, that gives it that mean, aggressive stance that I was that I was looking for. They are not knurled, which means when they go into the clamp here, they're just smooth. And I will say, I did have these things move on me one time, and it wasn't much fun. It actually scared the shit out of me. So how you combat that is you can go to Home Depot, you can get some emery cloth, you just wrap it around the bar, put the clamp on, tighten it down. It's never going to go anywhere again. And with a Harley, you want the one inch bars. They do come one inch and seven eighths. The one inch is for the Harley. The seven eighths are for all your metric guys. And with the Harley ones also, you want to get them dimpled, which means there's a dimple right under here that accepts your wiring. So you don't pinch any wiring when you put them on. They do not come drilled for internal wiring, 
but you can drill them out yourself and run the wires internally if you want. I chose not to do it just because I was lazy, to be honest. One day, maybe this winter, when I don't have anything to do, I'll pull these bad boys off and drill them out and run those wires internally. The other thing is with these bars with the eight inch rise, you can get away with all of your stock cabling. You do not have to change any cabling out. Now you will have to get creative on your brake cable, uh, but it can be done. You just gotta push and pull and reroute, but it, it can work with the stock brake cable. It's tight, but it'll work. I think these bars are $120 without changing out any cables there's no extra cost there and on top of that it just makes changing them out very easy so as you guys can tell i really like the bitwell stuff and these bars are no exception i'm going to leave a link in the description below for the bars and also check out their grips it's a great compliment if you go with the bars I'm getting ready to pull in to the garage here and when i do i'm going to do a little off the bike so you can kind of get a little better view let's say all right guys let's see if we can get a little bit better look here so i can kind of explain what i was talking about this is the seven inches here as you can see it almost lines up perfectly with the narrow front end so it's a really good fit and it looks consistent some of the other bars are real wide at the bottom and i think they just look out of place with the narrow front end so these bitwell bars really go in, in line with the front end i think they really look good on the sportster there's the eight inch rise and the pullback it's kind of hard to tell but as you can see it's not much it only comes back if you take this as a reference point it's three quarters of an inch so it's not a lot of pullback and like i was saying with the position of the bars anything in line with this looks good or forward anything with that line or back looks just a little off to me it doesn't give me that aggressive look like i was looking for so that's one of the things you have to contend with you have shorter arms with this amount of pullback it's going to be tough to get that aggressive look with them because you're going to have to tilt them back towards you a little bit. And also with the 29 inches, that is grip to grip. That's grips installed. So it is a fairly narrow bar. And like I said, it, it handles really well. It gives the bike a flickability. Also under here are the dimples so you don't pinch your cables, your cabling. They do not come pre-drilled from the factory but you can drill them if you want they come in black and chrome and like i said they're 120 bucks and the welds and the quality it's a nice heavy it feels like a quality bar like the burleys that i got the 12 inch ones i got those and they actually felt like they belonged on a bmx bike and i just wasn't comfortable with them i was i just i didn't trust them let's just go with that the other thing that you will have to do with these bars is you got to flip your mirrors when you install these if your mirrors are upright, you cannot see anything. I think it's even worse with these than the stock bars. But if you flip them, you can see just fine. And like I said, this was a nice mix for me. It kind of got me off the stock bars. I had the 12 inch and the eight inch has just been the, the perfect fit for me. And like I said, I have, I have replaced my cables, but these are stock length cables. So stock length will work just fine. I did get a little bit longer brake cable, but you can get the stock one to work. You just have to be a little creative with it. Other than that, guys, that's about all that I have. Thank you guys for listening to me and waste some of your time. And if you like this video, please hit that like button for me. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please hit that button. It should be right around there somewhere in the lower right hand corner and that'll get you hooked right up. Other than that, guys, ride safe and be careful out there. Later.